We're recording. Nice. Welcome back to the stars. Made me do it. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy Guess who's the sweet prepared puppy for here. this episode? <laughs> Not us, because it's Taurus season. Oh my gosh! Yeah, Tara's got her sleeping pup in the background. Very well, classic of Theo, but also classic of Taurus season. Mm-hmm. And um, and I would say I've been lazy this Taurus season, but I'm no. certainly not on my shit like I normally am. Not not on the podcast shit like I normally am. Let's say. Yeah. Um. I I think I've been very good about like um home stability and like taking care of that sort of business. Yes. I've been really good with yes. that. Um, which yay, thank you, Taurus season for that push to do that. Yes. Um, but yeah, we are not prepared for today's episode. And this is gonna be very um uh, spur of the moment, the, man. On the spot. Yeah. Here it tell is. them what we're discussing today. Well, I'll tell you what we're not discussing today. We are not <laughs> discussing nodes because we were going to discuss nodes, but like I wanted to put in some research to it and I didn't. So we're not mm-hmm. going to discuss it, but we will. We will potentially next episode, but who even really knows with life right now. Um, so we're going to have a Disney princess analysis. Because why not? That's why like not? after Harry Potter, that was one of the ones that I really wanted to do. Yes. So mm-hmm. Disney princess analysis, and we will have a part two of this that will be on Patreon. So what we decided mm-hmm. for this was to stick with like the classic Disney princesses, all of the princesses before and up to like the 90s, because past the 90s, we we're like, we're going to get into crazy territory. Yeah. So. I mean, so yes, we are going to cover like all of them, but like not most of them actually yeah well a little more than half will be in this episode and then the rest will be on patreon yes so should we say who we're doing yeah give the list of everybody yeah tell us who we're doing all right we're gonna do bell ariel aurora jasmine Cinderella, Snow White, Mulan, Pocahontas. And as a bonus, bonus. even though she's not a Disney princess, but like, mm, she's on Anastasia. Disney Plus now. She's on Disney Plus now. Is so. she? Did they put it on Disney Plus? Yes. Is Disney trying to like claim Anastasia? <laughs> I know. It's like, because everyone's like, I wish that I wish that she was an actual Disney princess. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, now she kind of is. Yeah. You know how like they have the princesses at Disney, like, wouldn't it be fun to dress up as Anastasia and just go to Disney and be like, Anastasia's here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm Anastasia. Uh, you yes. know? And I feel like it wouldn't be difficult because Anastasia is so like casual and like you don't really have to put on a big act. Yeah, exactly. She's Anastasia. not like an over the top type of princess. Like with Snow White, you really would have to be in character being Snow oh. White. Yeah. But yeah, Anastasia's super cash. I love Anastasia. We'll get Me there. Me too. We'll get there. We will. Okay. Okay. So. Let's get into it. Let's. Belle. Belle. What do we know about Belle? Um, there's a really cool version of Beauty and the Beast, like like a French version of it that came out, I think, just before the Emma Watson version. With real people? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And it's so different. And it it's like a, it's, um, it's very magical in a way of like, you know, there's like magical, like classic fairy princess but then there's magical mm-hmm. like this bedroom has like vines and and like mm. you know kind of like, like earthy magical earthy magical mm. yes yes mm-hmm. so um i only saw like the end half of it but i really want to watch it again i um but i mean i'm thinking of just like disney princess bell like cartoon yeah yeah well and okay bell likes to reading read. reading so knowledge thinking could be some air going on Mm-hmm. I have like I feel like I've seen online like sometimes people say that she's compared to a Sagittarius but I don't see that no or like um, I mean not every Sagittarius has to travel they can do it through learning like that's a big thing like the higher learning mm-hmm. is a huge Sagittarius thing but I kind of feel like she would not be chill with just being locked up if she was Sagittarius no not at all yeah. it's got to be someone who's patient mm-hmm. um intellectual mm-hmm. and nurturing yeah. Um, and is like willing to like put in the effort mm-hmm. into a relationship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Almost like I feel like there could be some cancer vibes there because she's doing it for her dad, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and she's got the nurturing part going on. But I do think there's some air there because she is a little bit like, you know, 
walking through the streets reading a book like I'm not paying attention to the rest of the world around me uh, Aquarius sort of situation maybe. yeah, yeah. Um, and also I mean I know this is just like visually but you know when she sings her her big uh uh I want adventure in the great wide somewhere yeah. right and yeah. like the breeze is going and the yes. leaves are all it's so yes. airy it's very, a very airy. airy scene so like She's not totally like, I mean, well, I guess it's like, oh, yeah. she's weird, but she's not weird. It's just like Gaston. Oh my God. I'm going to be talking about a character named Gaston and I have a cat named Gaston. <laughs> um, uh, is uh, like, I don't know. Well, she's a weirdo. Like the whole town thinks mm-hmm. she's a weirdo. So I guess that could go with Aquarius, but I don't think she's a weirdo. Well, not, not to, not to us, but, but to the town. I mean, in, in the movie, she was portrayed yeah. as being a little weird and her dad was weird. Um, so what do we think, like Aquarius with a Cancer Moon? That must be conflicting. Um, conflicting for sure. Or maybe even like Cancer but, Rising. I feel know, like Cancer Rising because that would be the way you would approach things and it would be like all family situation. But yeah. she's not totally like, she's not, I don't get overly emotional from her either. No. And I, she she kind of, I don't know, would you say she fell in love pretty easily? I feel like she did, but yeah. I guess it did kind of, you know, it was like a montage. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I don't know. I could also I get a little bit of Pisces going on. Maybe. Yeah. Just yeah. kind of like in a dreamy way, but a little bit like, I don't know. Mm. But I definitely think there's got to be Cancer and Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cancer Aquarius. We'll, we'll sure. go on to the next one. Yeah. Okay. Cancer Aquarius situation there. All right. Ariella. Ari- Ariel. Ariel. <laughs> I like that we both did different characters. I know. For that. I did flounder. <laughs> you did <laughs> Ariel. Okay. So quick, fun little story about that. A couple of years ago, I took Penelope to go see Alan Menken, who wrote like a lot of Disney princess songs. Um, okay. He did the Little Mermaid songs. He did uh, Beauty and the Beast. He did um, Aladdin, um, Newsies. <laughs> oh, my God. And she was little. And I figured, well, let me just take her. This guy's just going to be telling stories about when he wrote these songs and everything. The character of Sebastian was supposed to be like an English guy, an uptight English guy. And they were like, well, yeah, it makes sense. But like, imagine if he was Jamaican because (laughs) Jamaicans are so chill and laid back that like, imagine like an uptight Jamaican that like, they were just like, it's just hysterical to think of that. Cause that like, does that exist? Are there uptight uptight Jamaicans Jamaicans that, you know? And so they ended up making him Jamaican crab uh, that's crab instead of a, so because like good. yeah of course it makes sense to have like you know the stuffy English guy that's you know no you have to do things this way but yeah yeah so he told that story about Sebastian and I thought that was really fun I love it yeah I love it um and he's a great character but we're not talking about Sebastian we're talking about Ariel <laughs> yes Ariel Ariel you um, do it really good thank you <laughs> Ariel yeah <laughs> I freaking okay. loved Little Mermaid growing up. I used to like whenever there was like any object that could be used as a rock to do part of your world on, like I would do that <laughs> as a child. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Flashbacks. Okay. Well, she wants to explore for sure. She definitely wants does to explore. not want to stay where she is. But she wants to belong as well. Mm-hmm. She feels misunderstood. Like, and she's all about being in love. She's like, yes, totally. Like, I will give up okay. everything. Libra, for mm-hmm. Libra, potentially Sag, potentially Aqua, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. not feeling like they belong where they are. Like in a way, like you know, Aquarius are always like, I feel like an alien, and I want to go back to the mothership type of thing feeling. But mm-hmm. um, Sag needing to explore. But I also like, there's got to be heavy Libra for the want to be in a relationship. Like if you have their Sag placements there. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Or cancer. But I don't feel that because she wouldn't be wanting to leave her home so much. No. And and she really, I mean, she she like sells her soul and her family and everything for love. Yeah. To be with who she wants to be with. Yeah. Who she really doesn't even know very well. Thank goodness Prince Eric turned out to be a nice guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my God. Can we do a Disney villains episode? I want to talk about Ursula. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes. Okay. 
Oof. We will. Okay. We will. Um, <laughs> I think that there's gotta be Libra. I mm-hmm. think that, that, that she might be a Libra, but maybe with like an Aquarius moon. But she's um, got the, she's got to have some fire in her too. Cause she's feisty. She is feisty. Mm-hmm. Maybe Sag rising, mm-hmm. Sag rising. I don't think she's Leo because she's not all about me. She's no. just like, and, and Aries, I think she would be a little more, I think she'd be a little more feisty. Mm-hmm. So I can definitely Sag- see. Sag Libra. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm mm-hmm. writing down Libra Aqua Sag. I, I, I like that. And also mm-hmm. it makes sense that her top three wouldn't be water because she's like, I don't want to be. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Aurora. Mm. Okay. So I was thinking about this right before we started recording and I was immediately like Pisces. Okay. I don't know. I think because it's just, she's such a dreamy, ethereal. She is dreamy. Yes. Like, you know, and also like not upsetting the balance. So like, you know, and also I don't even think that she's necessarily wanting to fall in love. She's just dreaming about it. And so Mm -hmm. then when it's happening, she's like, Oh, you know, like in this and, and also like a kind of curiosity and a little bit different reality of like, yes, let me prick my finger. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think, I don't know. I get maybe like some Virgo vibes too. Ooh, yes. She's very in touch with like nature yes. and like, you know, sing into the, not, I mean, all the Disney princesses are kind of, but I feel like birds. her, especially where she's like walking through the woods with no I shoes totally on. I totally get the Virgo you know? vibes. Yes. Yeah. Pisces I mean, Virgo like, vibes. Yeah. I feel like she looks like a Virgo too. She does look like a Virgo. Yeah. Yes. Um, Is that a Virgo thing? Like being like, I mean, I know she has the spell cast on her and she goes to sleep, but like Virgo thing to be like enjoying your sleep. Mm, I mean, I think that could be considered an earth sign mm. thing in general, mm. um, yeah. but not as much as Taurus, but I wouldn't mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't, you know, classify her as a Taurus because she's sleeping beauty. You know, it's like, mm. that would be like, if as a person she was sleeping all the time, this was like a spell. Yes. Yeah. Um so I don't know. I, um, mm-hmm. I think all earth signs enjoy comforts, but yeah, I definitely get Pisces Virgo vibes from her. I don't yeah. know in what order, but for sure. Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's go Pisces Virgo. All right. All right. Um, Jasmine. Feisty. Fire. Like Aries, Fire. maybe Sag. I was going to say like Aries Taurus, maybe. Ooh. Like, uh, right. Like there's yeah. a stubbornness there too stubborn and feisty stubborn and feisty yes Mm -hmm. yeah and like no i'm not gonna marry who you want me to marry yeah you know (laughs) you will wed jafar the amount of times that me and my parents say that i don't know why like it comes up like oh it's you and the should other one, be Jasmine. Daddy, I'm so happy. Oh my God. We say that all the time where like whenever someone's like, yeah, well, you should be. We're like, you should be Jasmine. You will wed Jafar. Oh my God. Yeah. I definitely yeah. like the idea of Aries Taurus vibes. Um, mm-hmm. But also like, I think there could be a little bit of Sag there just because she's not, you know, she's very keen on being solo should need be um Mm -hmm. but not that i'm saying other signs can't be that way i'm just yeah thinking about myself Mm. um yeah but the stubbornness the feistiness the aries taurus she's almost someone who i feel like you you might think of like virgo initially and when people Mm -hmm. meet her it's like oh she's the princess she's so lovely and then it's like damn but she also has the the fieriness, so she could have an Aries. So maybe like Virgo rising. Yeah, something um, like that. Yeah. I'm gonna write down, I'm gonna write down Aries and, and Taurus though. Mm-hmm. I see that. I, I see that. I see that. Yeah. Hey Tara. Did you know that your name kind of sounds like the word tarot? Uh <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of tarot, there's a really cool shop called Tarot in Time that is so much more than just a shop. 
You are right. Tarot and Time is a tarot and astrology service with a brick and mortar store located in Kent, Connecticut for all your metaphysical, herbal and tarot needs. Their herbal and holistic approach to tarot and astrology is extremely welcoming. Their website includes videos of each reader so you can find the right match for you. And they offer in-person or distanced via Zoom tarot and astrology readings. Prices are very reasonable, starting at $20 for a 15-minute reading. I've had multiple readings from Tarot and Time, both in person and online. When I was in the U.S., I've been in their actual shop. And when I've been here in France, I've been able to coordinate it fine doing the readings online. Yeah, I had one in person, uh, one in person reading, and it actually changed my mind about tarot readings. I wasn't a huge fan of them before, but after my reading with Mimi, I kind of changed my mind about it and I like them now. Yeah, so you can do easy booking online at tarotintime.com. That's T A R O T I N T H Y M E.com. Cinderella. Cinderella. (laughs) Oh, man. Cinderella. Cinderella. I think it's, you know, I think it's difficult doing the older princesses. Yeah. Because like, well, I like I love them and they're such a part of childhood. They really are just like they're princesses. I'm a princess. They do what they're supposed to do. I'm not feisty. I am treated terribly, but I'm a woman. So that's what my life is. I like how a there's prince. like been, yeah. there's such a transition of Disney princesses. Oh, where yeah. It's like the old like, Disney princess is just like a prince. I'm in love. Take me away. Save me. And then like they got feistier in like the 90s, 80s yes. and 90s. And now it's just like, we'll forget the prince. Like that like, can be the like princesses, a side funny character. Yeah, yeah. But like the princesses are going to deal with the situation. Themselves. I love it. Yeah. I love. And also, <laughs> oh, my God, like I'm I'm much more team tangled than team frozen. But mm-hmm. like I I love that the true love was sister love. Yeah. Oh, I don't even have <laughs> siblings. And I'm just like, I was like, so moved. You have me. I know you're my, <laughs> you're more than a sibling. I'm um, true love. <laughs> <laughs> we know, we know we're a triple Scorpio. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not shy about being like Tara's my number one person. <laughs> original oh. soulmate. Original soulmate. Yes. I digress. Cinderella. Um. <laughs> Cinderella. Okay, Cinderella. I do Cinderella, like the. Cinderella. <laughs> I do like the vibes with like um. What is it? What's the one with Drew Barrymore? Yes. Ever. Ever, ever after. after. Yeah. I, love I like that, one. that take on it because it still mm-hmm. shows how she has a sassy side, but how she has to be just like that she, person in front of yeah, the other ones. And, yeah. And she didn't have a choice. Like yeah. like yes, she was like fiery and had her opinions but, but it like, was it was the flame was like smothered yes for sure yeah. um yeah. so like still did what she had to do but um what she was forced to do yeah but uh you know they made her like a real dreamer in that too yeah. like how she would be hanging out with uh da vinci and stuff yeah and, very um, artsy that's very pisces yeah but like she was like courageous too yeah um how she goes to get her her um her friend back. Yes. Um, the older guy who was the servant, they were said they sold him and she like goes to get him back. Yeah. But and like pretends. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. also thinking I freaking love the Cinderella version with Brandy. Like I love that. that. Was yes. my childhood. And I like I actually really like the Lily James one too. Yeah. I've only I think I've only seen it once, but I I was fine with it, you know. It was so you know what it was? It was like, yeah, it's the Cinderella story. Yes. There was nothing different about it that was like, kind of like the new beauty and the beast too it's yes. like yeah, yeah i liked it but and i wouldn't have liked it had they changed it from the original but mm-hmm. since it wasn't changed from the original it just doesn't stick out to me in any way right um but the, yeah i really like the brandy one that, uh, oh the brandy you showed one me that one oh impossible <laughs> da, 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 da. oh i love it i love it might need to watch that hmm. so i mean Cinderella. she's also very like I don't know. Something is making me want to say Capricorn because yeah, it's kind of like I can uh-huh. take care of myself and also like, oh, you're going to you're going to make me be alone all day. Like, thanks. Like, I like my own company anyways, you know, yes. um, mm-hmm. but also I feel like a Capricorn. I don't know. At the same time, might figure a way to 
better their circumstances. Yeah. Not um, that in that time you could, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, no, I get what you mean, but I mean, she does. Yeah. She, like that's, that was the way to do it. Yeah. And not even like, I don't feel like she like set out to, to get the prince, no. but it worked out for her. Yeah. Um, I do think she has a wateriness about her too. I think yeah. there's some Pisces. Like and just, I, yeah, yeah, I hate to just keep throwing Pisces at like the, the dreamy type princesses. But it's but, true. And creativity, yeah. mm-hmm. like with the, you know, of course she had the help of her, you know, rodent pals. And but her like, fairy godmother. Yes. And her fairy godmother. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, the creativity of like, she made that one dress that got destroyed, you know, like she, mm-hmm. like they helped her do it. And like being... Being dreamy, I think, can also like how Pisces can kind of live in a different world. I can see that as a benefit of like, well, this world sucks. I'm going to make up my own in my head. And, Mm -hmm. you know, I think that that could be an asset in that, like with Pisces Capricorn combination of like. Yeah. Yeah. Let's say Pisces Capricorn. All right. Or Capricorn Pisces. Yeah. All right. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Snow White. Snow White, Who another difficult knows? one. Oh my God. Snow White. And I feel like whoever we like, whichever sign we match her up with is going to be kind of insulting to that sign. Because she's such a classic, but she's such just a, oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, very good oh my in God. the home. Making pies and cleaning and like. Cancer. Cancer. Yeah. I could see cancer. Also um, though, quick quick side addition once upon a Mm. time is like one of my favorite shows ever and snow white and that is a fucking badass and i Mm. love her it's played by jennifer goodwin i love that they took like snow white who's just kind of seen as like you know oh you know and how they make her just uh, she's one of my favorite characters in all tv shows i love her Mm. so i I just like her in general as as an actress oh me too she's one of my favorites from like the he's just not that into you I was mm-hmm. like, I need to cut my hair like this now. And I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I forgot but about that. I love her. And I think that character has got to have Sag going on because she got a bow and arrow. She's mm-hmm. always like, you know, and she is like mm-hmm. freedom as fuck. So I would say. Did you see? Sorry, go on. Sorry. No, I would just say that Snow White, I would say mm-hmm. has Sagittarius vibes. Have you seen the movie Snow White, A Tale of Terror? Because that was like creepy AF. I don't think I have. I saw the the Lily Collins one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, you know it's so funny. There's so many. There's so uh, many Snow White versions and- of princess movies in general. There's so yeah. many princess uh, remakes and everything. I forgot about that one. And then there's the one with uh, Kristen Stewart too. Yeah. I didn't see that one or the Lily either. Collins one. But um, th- so in the '90s there was this one called Snow White: A Tale of Terror, and it was really creepy, but yeah. like good yeah i really i think it was like a made for tv movie actually but um but yeah definitely recommend it if you want to see like a cool snow white movie yeah she she was like i mean like really tormented by her evil stepmother in that one and like totally handled it like a champ and that was another one too where like you know with like the, the drew barrymore cinderella where like she like took care of the situation herself yeah, yeah. They, they did that with with this one too where she like yeah. she was she was tough like part of me with like the original cartoon snow white you know mm-hmm. when she's in the woods and everything's scary then she just collapses and cries like mm-hmm. that's just such a <laughs> bullshit like you know like patriarch way to go about it oh, oh she well, couldn't yeah. handle herself the like, 1930s yeah oh, <laughs> someone help me of course, it's Let men. Me just fall down and cry. Oh my god! Because my... the trees are scary. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> that Ugh. was scary, though. Seeing it that was as a scary. Kid, yes. I remember I saw that in the movie theaters, and I was like terrified. I yeah, it was. Um, it was scary. Yeah. Um, I okay. don't know. I would think. I think you're right about the home, and also like getting people. Like you know, she was like, <laughs> "This cleanliness is unacceptable." Okay, so what Virgo yeah. Cancer? Virgo, Virgo cancer? cancer? Yeah. Um, yeah, because very like and also I know it just goes with the naiveness, but like, you know, very trusting and warm. Mm-hmm. Um and very like loving and also like caring about like the 
home, like wherever she planted herself, it was, this was home. Like I'm making mm-hmm. it home. Mm-hmm. Um, Virgo cancer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I, I will stand by that Sag vibe from the once upon a time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Same for, um, for that other uh, Snow White, a tale of terror. And like also in the, in the once upon a time when she's like Mary Margaret, when she's not Snow White, like when she's in Mm -hmm. like the storybook town, she's a teacher. And so I'm just like, it's Sierra, you know, I'm just like, you're a teacher. (laughs) And on the side, you shoot bow and arrow and are a badass, you know. (laughs) Do we, yeah. Do you know uh, Jennifer Goodwin's? She's a Gemini and, um, and uh, Prince Charming. I forget what his, what his actor name is, but he's a Sagittarius and mm-hmm. they got married in real life. And I Aww. love that. I love that. <laughs> you um, would. I do. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mulan. Okay, um, confession. I have only seen Mulan once. Oh. And then it was a while ago. Oh. Um, and I enjoyed, I know the songs from it because oh, Penelope yeah. watches like all those YouTube montages of Disney princess songs and stuff. Yes. So I know the songs and I like the songs, but I don't really remember the movie so much. That's fine. I mean, I, <laughs> it's a good one. And oh my God, I remember like my first time in London, I was with um, one of my awesome friend, Aquarius friends, Kelsey, and we were like listening to the Mulan soundtrack and like making up these moves to it. Uh, like, I mean, this was college, like we're on on the train going to Liverpool from London. And don't I lie, here- you'd be doing it now too. Oh no, I'm saying I was like adulty enough. Like oh, I'm oh, saying, okay. I was definitely not a child. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely be doing it now. Um, but I thought you were saying like this was a while ago. This was a while ago. Now. No, I was just like this was not like you know two kids in a car ride. This was like mm-hmm. we were twenty. Um, mm-hmm. But we made up all these moves to the Be a Man song. And I just remember like we were trying to keep it a little bit discreet, but still Americans on their first time in like Europe or not first time in Europe, but first time in like the UK where everyone's very prim and we are quiet on public transport. And yeah. like it was just I remember this guy was like eyeing us when we were like fisting like, be a man, you must be swift. Yeah. So that's my memory my like one of my fondest memories of Mulan um mm-hmm. I never saw the new like the real life one well there was um, a whole controversy situation yes. with that which we won't get into but yeah I didn't see it either and I feel yeah. like it was very like like yeah we made it now let's move on yeah yeah but Mulan I mean I really like <laughs> I really like it and then I've heard people talk about how freaking awful feminist like like or not or anti-feminist like things and I I was like oh oh like I learned all these things about but, people. like just the Mulan story yeah and really? I was yeah I know and I, I heard about I don't know like people were coming out being like very anti they were against Mulan because of lots of things and I was like okay I don't disagree with what you're saying but I wouldn't have thought that on my own and I was mm. kind of more like go Mulan to yeah. not conform yeah Um, no I always thought she was seen as like the toughest yeah most badass of the princesses yeah like she went and like took things into her own hands yeah was like actually like Mm -hmm. able to fight I know know. (laughs) I know I could almost Um, see some Taurus vibes going on because she mm -hmm. was very like or even like cardinal but Something cardinal. Um, Something cardinal, but I do kind of see like a, maybe not Taurus, but I'm just thinking like the positive qualities of Taurus as far as like, I'm strong, I'm capable, and I can do what I set my mind to. Um, But also like, but I just don't necessarily get Capricorn vibes from her, but I do get earthy and I do get cardinal. And like opinionated and very set in her, her. That's where I'm kind of getting Taurus. Yeah, well, that's fixed, right? I know. So, so yeah. maybe she's more fixed signs than, like, you're not going to change her mind about things. Yeah. Um, because a cardinal sign is going to go and start a lot of new things, but a, a fixed sign is going to follow through. So I feel mm-hmm. like this was much more of a fixed quality where it's like, I'm not just going to see what happens if I join the army. It's like I have I'm making a decision to completely change my life and it is made and nothing's stopping me. Yeah. Um, So I don't know. I kind of get Taurus vibes, but I don't, I'm trying to think what I don't necessarily get air vibes. No, no, I don't get the air vibes either. I don't know. Maybe like Aries. I don't know. Mm. Mm. This one's hard. This is hard, but also like 
there is like a little bit of humor there, you know, like which yes. could come with the tourists as well, you know, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, just like making fun of like certain things. I don't know. And not being okay with like, oh, I can't reach the arrow at the top or, oh, they're going to send me home. No, th- I've made this decision. I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. So I'm a write down Taurus and we can come back to it if we want at the end, but I'm, I don't know. That one's hard. Yeah. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. I feel like everyone always classifies her as a Sagittarius and I don't necessarily agree. They, I don't agree. I don't don't know what I classify her as, but I don't think. I think that she has like earth water. Mm -hmm. Um, I do know. Oh my God. Like colors of the wind song. Obviously we get those airiness, but I don't get it from her. I get it from that song. Whereas like, well, earth water. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just like generally, I feel like the whole vibe is very, the whole vibe is earthy. Um, but she's so in tune with it. Like, yeah, I don't know. What do you like? Maybe like Scorpio could be (gasps) kind of thrown in there. Oh, oh, she kind of looks like a Scorpio. She does look like a Scorpio. (laughs) I love that. Yeah. I love that. Like Scorpio with like maybe some like Capricorn Mm -hmm. going on. I definitely, I don't like that. Like that she's not that I, I have anything against Pocahontas, but I just don't agree with when people say like she's Sagittarius. And I feel like I see that often. Um, They probably just say that because she was so like, okay with exploring the other cultures. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I mean, which is like, it's such a label for a Sagittarius. Like, oh, you're a Sagittarius. You travel. Yeah. You like to travel. You must be a Sagittarius. Yeah. No, there's so much more. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to put down Scorpio Capricorn. Mm. I like the Scorpio vibe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, we're at the best one. Anastasia. Anastasia. Oh. I think I think she could be a Leo. I think yes. she could be a Leo and like a Gemini or something. Yes. Like, yeah. Right? Yes. She's opinionated af and yes. like not afraid to give her opinion um, and she can play both roles mm-hmm. yeah Ooh. yes and like just a for sure leo i i don't know if i would have gotten there right away but yes <laughs> leo with gemini vibes yes yeah i mean absolutely fire but absolutely oh, opinionated yeah. Mm-hmm. and yeah like cannot stop <laughs> She talks a lot. Not she stop definitely- talking. <laughs> <laughs> Miss what? You're talking? Oh, my God. Um, yeah. Yeah. Geminis are the chatterboxes of the Zodiac. Mm-hmm. And Leo's with pride. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about Dimitri because Dimitri's like the cartoon character that I have. A you know, on. our brains are so in sync because I was just like, what would Dimitri be? Oh my God. <laughs> he could also be a Leo, though. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Let's um, let's save it. Hold back. Save it. Let's um do we'll this such... prince episode. Yeah, right. Okay. So Leo Gemini. That was mm. easy. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, like she she really like what was Anastasia's goal? She wanted her family. Yeah. She wanted to know who she was. Mm-hmm. There was could be some Aries there. Yeah. Because Aries is all about I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't see any cancer going on there. It was no, but it you was know what? Maybe a- Dimitri has cancer. Oh, right, like a cancer Leo. Mm. Mm. Because like Anastasia, it wasn't about the family. It was the fact that she. It wasn't like needing family to have family. It was because like, come on, anybody who like grew up in those circumstances would want to know who their family was. You mm-hmm. know, it wasn't mm-hmm. the same way that like a. Uh, I feel like a cancer would react to, I but don't you know. know what? Yeah. I think, yeah. Anyone I think would be curious, but she was like actively like, I need to find out mm-hmm. who they are. And it was for her, like, you know, I need to find them to find out who I am. Mm-hmm. Not as much as it was to find them, which of course it is to find them. Like if you're, if yeah. you're an orphan or if you're, you know, like you, you want to find like, of course, that's going to be always yes. something you're thinking of. But at the same time, it was like a, to find out who I am, which gets me very like Aries Leo vibes for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
and yeah. then the Gemini with the chatter and like opinions and the and just like the, the funniness too. Yeah. I feel like Gemini's can be really funny with like unintentionally funny a lot yeah. of the time with yeah. like just their banter. Yeah. Um, where they're not trying to be humorous, but they and are. also like they they are also travelers. They're not travelers in mm. the same way that Sagittarius are, but they are travelers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I love it. Yeah. I love it. So shall we go through it? Let's go. Want to give it. us a recap? You're good at that. Give the recap. I like recapping. You do. Um, okay. Bell, uh, Cancer Aquarius vibes. Ariel, mm. Libra, Aquasage, Aurora, Pisces, Virgo. I feel like that one. That one is very, like, I feel very good about that one. Mm -hmm. Um, Jasmine, Aries, Taurus, and Cinderella, Capricorn, Pisces, Snow White, Virgo, Cancer, Mulan, potentially Taurus, but hard to decide, Pocahontas, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Anastasia, Leo, Gemini, Aries vibes. Now, I just want to make sure, did we like use every sign at least once because I'd feel bad if anyone got left out. I think we did. I think we covered everybody. I think we did. We- Aries, Taurus, yeah. Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra. Scorpio, Sag. Scorpio, Sag. Capricorn. Aqua, Pisces. There we go. All Everyone right. is covered. So that's the that's the episode you get for free. If you want another, (laughs) here's what we're going to cover in the Patreon Disney episode, Disney princess episode. We have Tiana, Merida, Rapunzel, Anna, Elsa, and Moana. And I think there might be another one that like just came out. Uh, I think her name starts with an R. I'm not sure. We'll make it happen. Yeah. If we, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it, but if we do see it, we can tack her on too. Um, Yeah. But yeah, those are, you know, the, I think that was after the nineties that yeah. all of them came out. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. If you want to listen Jump on to that board with that, come on over to Patreon. Can. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to be talking about more like information episodes. I mean, we love doing mm-hmm. the analysis episodes. They're the most yeah. fun for us because it's just like, why we started this podcast in the first it's, place we would have this whole conversation anyway yeah <laughs> even if we weren't doing the podcast so yeah i know we're happy but, to share it with you guys yeah so this one's yeah i i have so much fun doing this but we will get mm-hmm. some more like informational episodes coming your way we definitely want to do a nodes one um yes. and get you some more like tangible astrology information information. yeah Yeah. making it accessible though of course Mm -hmm. and um a reminder to jump on our instagram at the stars maybe podcast that's where all our info comes out in the most timely of fashions yeah and we also have our website the stars maybe do it.com patreon.com slash the stars made me do it and we are on YouTube. This video, if you are listening to it, it's also a video on YouTube. And we are wearing our witch hats. We are, the witch hats are here to stay. Yeah, we're into the witch hats. It, yeah. It just feels right. It feels right. It's a vibe. Yeah. We're making so tell, magic. <laughs> making magic. Tell us what you think. If you agree with these signs for these princesses, tell yeah. us if you don't agree. If yeah, you for think sure. something completely different. And also a reminder that if you are really getting into, you know, well, if you're really getting into our podcast, please tell a friend that would mean a lot just to spread the word. And if you are interested in getting your chart read, I am available. You can book a reading with me, uh, the infos on our Instagram and then as well as our Patreon members get that reading. So Mm -hmm. I I'm man, I'm learning so much. It's so wild. I like, I like, just like we said, when we first started this podcast, we're like, oh my God, are we going to run out of things to talk about? And now I'm like, for the rest of my life, (laughs) I will not know enough. There's too much. There's too much. So it's, it's comforting to know that this podcast doesn't have an end date because there's too much to know. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good stuff. But I love it. So join us on the socials. And if you want to tune into Patreon for part two. And uh, what was the reason we discussed these Disney princesses today? I will tell you because it's Taurus season and 
we were a little lazy and didn't look up nodes and we know all about princesses. So since it's Taurus season, the stars are doing their Taurus thing and they made us do it. They made us do it. Ding. Ding. Ding.